Hey everyone, welcome back to one Hello. more episode of Live Talk and look who is here with us. Hi guys. Hi. We are happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. And um, see you. are you excited too? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And by the way, Michaela's uh, contact information is in the description and in, in this video's description. Get in touch with Michaela. Don't forget, people. You know, th today uh, is um, I, we, we, we didn't talk about our subject. So this is a surprise, even for you. Yeah. But, I, but I have something. I think this is a, a this is a, a great a, and very I'm thinking German again, <laughs> but this is a very present, very uh, current, a current, current. Thank you very much. <laughs> a very current topic, and we spoke yeah. about this a little bit uh, a few weeks ago. So I want to talk about, with you about fear, ah, and, okay. um, yeah. and, and 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 but more specifically about one subcategory. Fear. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about uh, being alone mm. and and loneliness, yeah. uh, which they are not always the same thing, right? So, uh, but uh, because um, the reason I, I want to talk to you about this is because I've been doing some uh, some podcasts uh, on on that subject, and the feedback I'm getting is very very, very interesting. Uh, in the light of everything that has happened over the last few years, you know, the, pande the pandemic and, and the financial situation, uh, the war, and so on and so forth, right? So people uh, live in fear. I mean, a lot of people, mm. e even if they don't, ex if they don't see it, you kind of like, can, you can sense it somehow in, in society. I mean, when you go around your way, you know, you can, you can almost sense it yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so um it, for, for, well let's let's begin with that do you notice that i don't notice it day to day because i don't feel it day to day okay um i mean you you personally you know. i personally don't yeah. mm -hmm. feel it no um i see it when i spend time with people who mm -hmm. I don't often see that much who do feel it. So like my parents, so my mom, my mom, she, you know, mm -hmm. I can tell that she's feeling it, my sister. Mm -hmm. um, but the people that I surround myself with uh -huh. don't tend to hold on to that fear so much and that mm -hmm. energy. So I wouldn't say that it's something that I feel exposed to every single day. Okay. Um, I limit the amount of the news that I watch. Mm -hmm. Um because I think that it can infiltrate your mind and your in your in your uh, emotions, um, and have quite a negative response. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we have to be really mindful about what we consume, who we consume, mm -hmm. and what we allow to affect us in that way. Especially when we don't have any control over mm -hmm. some of those things. Mm -hmm. um but I do I do feel it um in terms of like so when I visit my mum my mum worries she's a, she's a big worry warrior she always mm -hmm. has been she's always struggled with anxiety my yeah. sister worries she's got a baby on the way you know she's mm -hmm. she's got um financial concerns about what's happening and then mm -hmm. when you know if I do choose to put the news on or, or whatnot yeah. and I see what's happening like I went to an exhibition in Manchester recently an art exhibition that talks about the war in Ukraine and it was heartbreaking like but but for me that that is I was what looking at the paintings and it, the, the the photos it was a photography exhibition and like my heart was breaking it wasn't fear it was heartache for me yes yeah. uh, when I was looking at all of that because like I said fear for me is something that is it's not useful mm -hmm. um empathy is Mm -hmm. But fear, especially, it's it's useful when you can do something to change things. But the problem is, we can't necessarily do a, an awful lot to change what's happening. Sometimes, right? Like right. we can't we can't stop the war. I can't like mm. stop what's happening. I can't I can't stop poverty. You know, there there are big things, and if if you allow 
the magnitude uh, of these things and 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 you know the the sheer sadness of it all to consume you it it will take up a lot of energy and a lot of space in your heart and your mind that does not serve you right um, so whilst it's not advisable to be ignorant it's also not advisable to allow uh the things in the world to generate a truly negative response in you that affects your day-to-day mood because yeah. you have to be mindful of yourself as right. well and right. and and the people that you touch in your life you know you have to be the best person that you can be for yourself and for them for the people you love Mm. and the people that you come into contact with and if we spread peace and joy and happiness Mm. then we'll get more of that um and unfortunately the news well bad news sells right right oh you know we live in a world where if the newspapers are going to sell papers if the media is going to sell uh you know time on tv then it's usually going to be filled with stuff that makes us scared because mm. because that's what sells mm. yeah i think i agree with i agree with you and that's i guess that's um a, a, a point where i mean i myself struggle in, in finding the right balance right yeah. uh, and uh because um i mean i notice a difference yeah. you know if i don't watch the news for maybe like a couple of days you know i mean i, I notice the effect that that has in my my, my mental health right uh, so, but then, of, of course, you know, playing the, the devil's advocate is like, okay, well, I mean, there are a lot of things that we cannot fix, mm. but ignoring ignoring that, you know, mm. is is that is that helpful? So that is the the the, the battle, you know, and, and yeah, of course, I mean, everyone I, has to decide for themselves. I don't think right? we should ignore it, you know. Hence, why I've gone to the exhibition and I am, mm. you know, actively learning about it when I choose to. Mm. But forcing myself to listen to it day in, day out yeah. on the news every morning, you switch on the TV, in your car, you listen to the radio. The effect on that for me is just too detrimental. And then it's I too can't much. serve yeah. and yeah. I can't help the people that I want to help. And I can't right. be the person that I want to be um, to serve as, as well as I can and, and, and to serve the community and serve the people I love mm. and serve myself because right. I'm, so it's it's like what you said it's a it's a balance we have to be aware and we have to educate mm. ourselves because mm. we are only going to avoid making the same mistake if we learn right. from our current mistakes right yeah right right but at the same time we do not want to get consumed in it and it becomes addictive like my mum she was watching the news all the time in lockdown and you know during covid and it was putting her into like so much fear fear and she was getting poorly and her partner was getting poorly and they you know it was it was affecting their health and I just turned to them and I said you need to stop watching the news that like, you have to because they they are in they're in 24 7 you know they're old they're mm. retired like yeah. they, they, they're watching the news yeah, 24 yeah. 7 you know and uh, and watching the news is a, is a favorite pastime in our day you know? yeah uh, absolutely. To, I mean, we're, we're, we're all nosy by nature right <laughs> yeah why I began to talk about mental health issues in my podcast, and I mean, um, I recently began uh, started. That's a, something that I would like to talk to you later on. But uh, I recently started a, a podcast, a, a, an audio podcast, not a video podcast, but an audio podcast, and I'm focusing on on mental health issues. And uh, and uh, I think um, the, the the lockdowns uh, were a springboard or or a magnifier for mm. for for a lot of things that were happening, and. Um, and, uh, and 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 maybe you remember some of our talks off camera. You know, some things that were happening here in Germany. I mean, they were not yeah. they were not funny at all. I mean, you know, like like right now, like a very current situation is um, uh, the media uh, are talking about. Well, you know, we made mistakes. Uh, let let us just forget about it. like well, you know, and lives were destroyed. I mean, the kids uh, the kids were. The, I mean, my kids were affected. You know, my life was affected. You know, people lost jobs, people lost businesses, uh, people were persecuted, really, in the media. And from, and, and I'm talking about Germany. I don't know, you know, just yeah. like my surroundings. Right? So, like, that has a big effect on people mm. that that otherwise didn't have the chance to to defend themselves because they they saw themselves as persecuted. You know, I mean, yeah. bombarded. You know, for from from the the 
the government and and uh, the media and even you know families were divided and, and things like that so that it causes had a lot a huge effect and i guess that's what i'm where my what i was focusing on they're like okay now there is a lot of people that that have those scars you know i mean who can i trust um am i alone i mean the and I lost my business already. I don't, you know, I mean, like right now, I mean, people, I don't know how, how is the uh, energy situation in, 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 uh, in England, but for example, here, there are businesses that they survived the first world, world war, <clears throat> businesses that, that survived the, the, that second world war, but they are not able to survive this, this uh, last year because of the, uh, so like, absolutely. This I mean, there is like a massive a global world. financial strain right now. So that is something that, you know, everyone is feeling, especially with yeah. the increases in energy prices, fuel prices. Yeah. It's it's a huge like weight on people's yeah. shoulders. But yeah. I guess my my way of thinking about it again is that, well, everything that's been thrown at us. I know this is new, but we always mm. get new things thrown at us. We've we've got through it. Right. So you just have to kind of think, well, trust myself that I'll get through it again and that's correct. Yeah. Things things will be things will be okay. But it, it is obviously again on people's minds, quite rightly so. Of course it's gonna be, especially when you've got bills to pay, mortgage right. to pay, family to feed, of course. And mm. you know, it, it does come into my my mind you know as well and it's in these moments though mm. these these hard times are really crucial as to whether we have the mindset where we get overwhelmed and we sink right. or whether we grow and whether we right. find a way to flourish and we we do live in an abundant world where there is opportunity available everywhere and I've certainly believed that it's just very hard to see that light when you are a That's seed right. in the ground do you know you when you're under the ground and you're swallowed up by darkness like to mm. see that glimpse of light is really hard so my advice is always to move towards the glimpse of light correct and and that's that's why i want to talk to you about that because you know that's that's the situation that we, we describe the situation that, that you know the way things are and mm. uh, what we choose to do with that is is another thing and and mm. and and um what I'm trying to uh, uh, get to, oh, uh, let me get this out of the way, um, is um, things that we can do in order to move uh, in a positive way forward. And I believe the, the, the first thing that we need to do today, and I want to hear your take on that, is community, to be part of a healthy, good community, whether that is family, neighbors, friends, colleagues, whatever, you know, uh, that uh, that can help us um, go through this situation. I think that is vital, you know, because being alone yeah. it will kill us. It will kill yeah. us mentally, and it will kill us uh, physically too. I mean, you know, it, there is a lot of things that stress uh, puts into motion in our bodies. You know, sickness and 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 whatnot. You know, what do you think? Well, I I one hundred percent agree with you. I think that the little things in life are the things that really matter and mm. that if we can hold each other's hand, we can get each other through the storm. You know, you look at countries in, in Asia, you mm -hmm. know, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, you know, they, they don't, those, the people who live there are so bright, so energetic, like Colombia, I visit Colombia, beautiful people there and they don't have a lot. They don't yeah. have much, you know, but they, hear but they each have, other, right? each other and they have a community right. and you can see it and you can feel it yeah and it's almost like they're all they're all holding each other's hand and you know mm. you kind of got this you just see it you just watch them and you're like you have got this mindset that yep yeah, you're all in this together and we'll, mm. we'll just get through it would you have to go through it right? yeah and yeah you know i mean i like in like the uk it's it just and and I don't know about Jamie. It doesn't feel like we're as close knit. The community is as close knit as that. It's yep. it's very segregated into your little families, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. It it is like that. We don't have I I suppose 
the church I'm, I'm not particularly um really I am spiritual and I would say that you know I do have some religious value I have a lot of religious values but I'm, yeah. I don't follow a particular religion but religion used to do that didn't it it did used to bring people together um and I know that that's not something in the UK that um is 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 huge now um mm-hmm. we but, but there is a move towards uh spiritual uh, like right. spirituality yes. and there are communities that are getting together and like working on mental health cold water dipping going to yoga practicing mindfulness you know there are lots of that um which I always say is like it's so useful to to get in with those types of people who are like actively trying to um work on their mindset and through this really tough time you know it, it is very true I uh, finding people uh, like-minded people that is one thing yeah. and then you're talking about the other for example uh, the, the groups that we belong to you know i think uh, 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 of course it, there are different ca- type of groups you know you like your colleagues or maybe like you said you know groups that get together to to do sport or to to mm-hmm. meditate or go for a walk or play games whatever they uh, or pray go to church and things like that you know i think the, being alone I mean, things are bad as they are, but if we are alone, it, w- it will be even worse. It will, it will kill us, right? Um, so what, what will be your advice? I mean, to, to find a community. Uh, what will you tell people if they are feeling lonely and alone in, in, the, in the midst of these times? It's it's a difficult one because every individual is different right. in, their, in their approach to this. Right. Um, I remember my mum. She was caught up in the snow in winter. Yeah. And she was walk. She ended up walking home from work because she couldn't. Uh, the buses weren't running. She was walking, and she saw this light. This light, and she was like, "Oh my God, what is that place?" It. She was like, "It was like an angel," and it was the church. <laughs> We're going back on religion here. Not my right. intention, honestly. Right. And she. Um, she walked into it and she created a community from them. From then on, she was going to that church every single week and she met her lifelong part well, her lifelong partner, her now lifelong partner there, you know, and they got married and stuff, which is a really, really beautiful um, story. But it came from her just walking towards it, you know? So I guess you've got to see the opportunity that presents itself before you can walk towards it. So. I suppose my advice would be open your eyes to who and what is around you that may be able to help you, that may be able to serve you in a way. Um, And if you see something that you're like, oh, that 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 could help me, follow it. Beautiful. Yes. I mean, I uh, I don't have anything to add to that. I mean, that's great. Um, Well, thank you very much, Michaela. Too bad uh, that our time is up, but uh, we had to say goodbye for today. But we'll be back hopefully next week. Um, yes, yes uh, absolutely. All right. Until then, we wish you all a successful and blessed day. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.